All right, sports fans, we're back with a success story. Here we have the Arduino Uno and a breakout for an AD7689 uh, DAC connected up via the USART, that's the synchronous UART connection here. And to make it work after a lot of struggle, and believe me, struggle is an understatement, I found that you had to connect the pins here on the ICSP header together to reset the, the USB chip that we're using here on the Arduino board. That's the uh, little at mega 16U, which runs the USB, because otherwise the meso was pulled high. So now we're going to run it and we'll show you how it works perfectly. All right, so we plug it in. Everything powers on. We now, okay, that was our first. We just missed it. We're going to restart so you have a better chance. So now we start. That's one, one, one. First step. Blue means it's okay. So it's okay. First step is okay. Two, 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 two. Okay. Now three is a self test. Two, three. One, two, three. This is where it failed in the past. One, two, three. Self test. Okay. And now we're in the loop. After the self-test, we go into the loop. So the heartbeat zero, the green, will indicate if we run reading pin zero uh, or pin one on the uh, input zero, input one on the ADC. And the heartbeat is every time we go through the loop. And blue indicates that it's okay. So we get the answer we expected. And yellow, the yellow one would indicate we're not. So for example, now, if I go to, to uh, input one and I let it float, we would expect that when we get one, we get a yellow, which is true. We get zero is still okay, but yellow is false. So we put it back in. Now we get one is okay and zero is okay. What happens if we do that with zero? Now zero is out, one is okay, and zero is bad. See that? I put zero back in and we go back to zero okay and one okay. So now we have managed to make USART bi-directional user eye communication work on the Arduino Uno. And now we have to do is port that to the uh, at Mega 2650. Thank you. This was a huge accomplishment, mainly and only thanks to the Arduino forum and the replies I got there. Thank you all.